Ivo, you mentioned that the hunting industry in South Africa brings in um, a lot of money for the country. Do you think you can elaborate on that? Well, you know, that, could, that to me gets to the real issue. It's not whether what she did was legal. It was legal. You know, it, it didn't appear to be a canned hunt. So, so I don't think she did anything wrong. Um, but the question is, should hunting be, should hunting be legal? Yeah. And, and that's a very emotive topic. But when you look at it, um, uh, game farms in South Africa account for three times as much land under conservation as our national parks do. They account for 20 million head of game. You know, and that's up from half a million 50 years ago. Uh, they account for 100,000 jobs. Right? They bring in, according to Environmental Affairs Minister Edna Malewa, uh, about 6.2 billion rand in industry revenue. Right? And that's throughout the value chain, from sort of weapons to, to the safari lodges and so on, to um, taxidermy fees. Or, you, know, you add all that together, that's 6.2 billion rand. That's a lot of money. Um, and a lot of that does get plowed back into breeding programs, into conservation, into habitat uh, preservation. Um, and into making local communities more comfortable with the notion of land being preserved for wildlife. You know, whereas previously they, they'd seen the wildlife as either a threat or as a sort of food. And Ivo, you touched on how hunting feeds back into the communities. And I know the CEO of Sand Parks has said that it's necessary in South Africa for us to continue allowing this to happen. Can you tell me... Um, a little bit more about how this feeds into the communities um, and if you think if we continue hunting will will the animals become extinct it's it's hard to say they will become extinct um, mm. they, they will certainly have a lot less value to to game farm owners right and that immediately feeds into how much money they can invest into securing their properties against poaching for example um, I saw on the the Maroe Conservancy website where which organized this hunt um, they say, for example, that the, the meat that they get from these animals gets distributed to the local community. So they get a lot of buy-in from the local community. Uh, they've got arrangements with locals to sell curios. They, you know, they're some of the locals that are employed as, as game rangers and so forth. Um, so there's definitely, a, a, you know, I can't quantify it, but there's definitely a positive impact. Um, and I, I was actually just sent a, a message now from Botswana where they just banned hunting. Uh, and the uh, guy says, um, today we started the closure of our concession after 16 years of conservation in practice. What was a desolate area with no wildlife, we transformed with the funding from hunters into a good wildlife area, with no buffalo and elephant, etc. Guy shut down. Um, you know, and, and, that's, and that's what happens, sadly. People can't afford to run dam concessions if they can't get that revenue from both ecotourism and hunting. You know, and that's what the CEO of Santa David Mabunda says quite clearly, is we need both. You know, we don't have the luxury of choice. Um, we need, they're, they're not mutually exclusive. We need ecotourism and we need hunting revenue. And as long as that's well managed, um, you know, I, I can only see benefits for the country, both in terms of economic revenue and in terms of conservation. And Laura, I'm going to ask you, do you think hunting should be made illegal in South Africa? Um, I don't, I can't say that. Uh, I don't like hunting. It's not something I would ever do. I don't really understand it. But someone did say to me, what, who has a better life? A pig that's in a box for his entire life until it's shot and eaten? Or a lion that gets to run around for most of its life having a great time until it's hunted down in a fair, well, hardly fair fight, but pr properly hunted down and given a very quick and painless death. What is better? I mean, I couldn't, can't really answer that. And so I wouldn't state no hunting should be illegal.